Hi everyone, it's Monique. Do you like pie? I like pie, but you're probably thinking, okay Monique, pies are so Thanksgiving. Well, not quite, because we did some research here at Wilton and we found out that 50% of you are making pies for Christmas. So that puts it in second place tied with cakes, followed by cookies, of course. So today, I wanna show you a new take on pies that we created. You've seen the traditional round pies everywhere. You might have even seen some pie pops, pies on a stick, and handheld pies, but have you seen a pie cone before? That's right, these nifty little cones are totally customizable, portable, and they're a lot of fun to make, and they will be a hit with all of your friends and family. So let's begin. We'll start by prepping our sugar cones. That's right, that's our secret for getting that cone shape. So if you have these lying around from the summer, go ahead and use them, otherwise they're cheap to pick up at the store too. Go ahead and cut out a 10 inch sheet of aluminum foil because that's what we're going to use to wrap around the sugar cone so that the pie crust doesn't stick to it when it's baking. And then we're gonna cut a big X through that sheet of aluminum foil to make triangles and that's what we'll use to wrap around the cone. Now we're gonna wrap them. So take your cone and place the tip at the bottom of the triangle and start wrapping it around. Make sure to smooth it all out and tuck in any edges. Next we're gonna spray our cones with nonstick spray. I'm gonna use Bake Easy because it's easy. So I'm just gonna spray it over some parchment paper to contain the mess a little bit, but you can spray it over the sink too. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and cut out our pie crust into strips. So if you're using a store-bought pie crust like I am, just make sure to let it sit out for a few minutes before you start cutting. Now you can also use your own pie crust, but I'm using store-bought because it's easy. We're going to cut our dough into half-inch strips. Now you can either measure it out or eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm using a pastry cutter to cut them, but if you have a pizza cutter, that works too. Before we wrap the cone, I'm just going to brush the dough with some egg wash. And egg wash is just one egg white mixed with a teaspoon of water. And this helps to give the dough a nice golden crust when it's baking. Then just take your first strip and start wrapping the cone. Start at the tip and make sure that you completely cover that bottom of the cone so that nothing oozes out and just start wrapping around the sugar cone. Make sure that the egg wash is facing out. Now that we've reached the end of the first strip, this is where we're going to attach the pieces together with the egg wash because the egg wash is gonna act like glue basically. So go ahead and brush both ends and attach and continue wrapping. I'm just gonna finish this piece off. It doesn't quite reach the end, but that's okay. Once you've wrapped all of your cones, we're going to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes or overnight because the chilled dough is what's gonna to help to keep the cones intact and not droop when baking. Once they've chilled, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and we're going to bake them for 13 to 15 minutes. Now, we're not gonna bake them like this on the baking sheet, even though they look like Christmas trees right now. A nice little forest here we got. See, I told you pies were popular for Christmas. We're going to bake them on top of a cooling grid on top of the baking sheet. So this is gonna help to disperse the heat evenly and not burn any of the edges. Once our cones are baked, make sure to let them sit inside the sugar cone for about four to five minutes to cool. And then we're going to gently release the sugar cone from the pie cone. Now for the best part, the fillings. Now you can be as creative as you want with these or you can go the traditional route with some fruit fillings. I've got some apple and cherry here or you can do my favorite chocolate silk pie, uh, maybe a pumpkin pie for the holiday. That's very festive. So just have fun with it. Now you can serve these pie cones one of two ways. You can serve them on a plate like a traditional pie slice but these have a little more flair. You can add some ice cream on the side or some whipped cream or you can serve these pie cones on the go. So I made some parchment cones here and I'll include a link down below how to make them. They're really easy. And this would be great for your guests because they can just put the cone inside and carry it around your party. So there you have it, a new take on pies that you can serve for Christmas this year or really for any occasion. And you could probably save it for Thanksgiving too because it kind of looks like cornucopias right now. So that would be pretty awesome to serve next year. So if you like this video, make sure to give me a comment down below and a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any other new fun ideas like this one. My name is Monique. Thanks for watching.